Grüße. So, my talk will be in English? Yeah. So, all right. Yeah, good, all right, good. So, where's Kent Ro Rotterdam? How are you doing? Good. Okay. So, I'm uh, Mike Reinhardt. I, I help uh, companies to grow their business through fast and engaging websites. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to improve your web performance. Uh, this is how I'm going to do it. I will show you five steps. Uh, put that microphone here. I will show you five steps on how to speed up your website and how to rank your competition. Uh, you probably already know that uh, mobile web traffic has surpassed desktop. But did you know that over 50% uh, leave your mobile website if it takes three seconds or longer to load. So if you leave them with a yeah, blank screen or loading, uh, loading screen, they're going to be out of there. According to uh, Google, um, yeah, the average time for uh, mobile websites is uh, nowadays 15 seconds. But I don't know, do you like to wait uh, more than 10 seconds for a website to load? Well, I definitely don't. So, and uh, considering that, um, yeah, 53% leave your website if it takes longer than three seconds to load. So, speed uh, is the most important feature. It's a quote by Fred Wilson. And, uh, yeah, if you work uh, uh, consider that uh, yeah, nowadays uh, uh, there are over 4 billion uh, internet users and over half of them com is coming from mobile. So, and over these, uh, these new, uh, yeah, uh, Google is talking about uh, the next billion users coming to the internet. Uh, yeah, speed is very important because the next billion users they, some of them may have never uh, used a desktop before, and they maybe never will, because uh, yeah, nowadays uh, the new user, they have like a mobile-only uh, mindset. So we should uh, stop thinking as mobile uh, as another channel, because it's the only channel. We do everything uh, on our mobile. It's, uh, uh, we do our, uh, we order our uh, tickets, we uh, search, uh, yeah, do our bookkeeping. Uh, yeah, it's basically our life. It's we spend every day nowadays. Uh, we check our phones like thirty times uh, and search. Uh, and yeah, it's basically uh, uh, has become very, very a very important tool. And speed is uh, good for yeah every every everyone and everywhere. Uh, Google uh, is especially promoting it. Uh, uh, it's uh, yeah page speed is uh, good for your user experience. Uh, the faster your site loads, the more engaging it, it will be. Also, page speed affects your uh, search rankings. Uh, uh, Google is especially paying attention uh, how fast your site loads. Uh, it affects your bounce rate, so the slower your site is, yeah, the, the faster you use, the, your users will leave your site. Also, it affects the page uh, views and uh, conversions. Uh, if a site loads fast, it will make your uh, visitors more happy and uh, less frustrated, so they will be, will be willing uh, yeah, to buy something on your website. So, and eventually, page speed is also uh, good for our planet because it uh, yeah, uses less uh, power to uh, run a, a website. So, it's good for everything. <coughs> Several companies also saw many benefits from page speed. Uh, for example, here uh, I have an example of Exact. They recently updated their uh, mobile websites by implementing AMP. And the, the mobile site loads now in four seconds. 
by doing this they saw a, a, a conversion increase up to 886 percent also an example from uh, Amazon they saw that their sales dropped one percent for every uh, yeah for every hundred milliseconds their page is loading loading slower slower so yeah they are uh, just for their website to become slower they're losing like billions of dollars so maybe you're, maybe you're not as big as Amazon but still uh, why would you give money away I rather keep it many of these uh, yeah examples you can find on this website WPO stats um, yeah it keeps track of all these case studies uh, being done by uh, companies of uh, the benefits of uh, page speed so you can check it out uh, yeah whenever you want to convince your team when you want to do web performance work and uh, show them the benefits anybody heard of the Google speed update and it's is anybody ready for the Google speed update well <laughs> Okay. Now Google announced uh, a new search algorithm uh, designed for mobile. Uh, the speed update will go live uh, in July, and uh, yeah, so you still have some time to uh, yeah, optimize your website and uh, yeah, make sure that it loads fast uh, for mobile because it yeah will um, will affect your uh, page page uh, ranking in, uh, in in the search results. So, how, how are you going to make your website suck less? I mean, what, what are you going to track? Uh, how do you measure speed? So, I'm going to show you some uh, yeah, examples. Uh, yeah, I started uh, blogging and using WordPress about uh, yeah, 10 years ago. I first started blogging, but then I saw the flexibilities of uh, of WordPress and I already started uh, in the beginning to yeah, use WordPress as a full-blown full CMS for company websites and but still I, I love blogging and but I also like to travel so if you combine these two together what do you get you get a travel blog so what I did uh, I started a website for uh, Miami anybody has been here to Miami okay cool well, I love Miami, so uh, I even made a website for it. And I'll be using that in my uh, examples. Um, and to show you how I uh, yeah, optimized uh, the Miami guide uh, to uh, outrank uh, the competitors. Because yeah, especially in the travel branch, it's uh, a very competitive market. And page speed is uh, yeah very important for them to uh, yeah outrank the the competition. Uh, yeah, also if you want to follow the Miami guides, I'm also in Instagram and everywhere on the internet. <laughs> well, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Uh, in my mind, uh, performance is measurement. Uh, so the first step you want to do is measure you want to see yeah where you stand and how you uh, yeah rank up to uh, other web pages on the internet and yeah how you're gonna improve it so, um, you want to know uh, a starting point before you start optimizing it so and also which metrics are you, uh, metric you're gonna track so there are several tools online you can use to uh, yeah that are freely available to uh, improve your page speed. Uh, probably already familiar with this tool, so it's the Google Page Speed Insights. Uh, maybe I don't know anybody used this before. Well, I guess yeah. If you haven't used it, probably your boss has. So, and if they they don't like it, if they see here red figures, so you want to make sure that. Uh, yeah, the numbers here are in the green, and especially pay attention to the to the mobile version. So, Google PageSpeed uh, gives some, gives some easy insights. Uh, it gives a score from uh, yeah zero to hundred. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't become obsessed 
with a getting 100%, but uh, if you're above 80, it's, uh, it's good. Another tool available on the internet is uh, GT Metrics. You can uh, run a mobile test and see uh, yeah, how your web page performs. Uh, it gives uh, several metrics. Uh, there is also uh, a waterfall, how your page loads. Uh, and they also give recommendations what needs to be uh, optimized. Um, yeah, you should pay at, uh, close attention to the uh, total page size. And it's recommended for mobile web pages that yeah, you keep this below 500 uh, kilobytes, which it's quite tough to do because, uh, yeah, <coughs> my site is currently twice as much. As a web designer, I uh, especially like to use this tool, which is uh, DevTools. You can measure your web performance right in the browser. So when you uh, right-click on your website and click, uh, click on Inspect, you go to the Networks tab, and you have all these metrics that, uh, where you can check how your site is performing. So you can see how, uh, how your site loads, which res uh, resources are being loaded onto the page. Uh, you can sort uh, the, the waterfall timeline uh, by, by size. So <coughs> you can see which, uh, which assets are uh, yeah, the biggest. So you can start focusing on, uh, yeah, on those first. Uh, another one is uh, the number of service requests. You want to keep this as low as possible. So recommended for mobile websites is less than 50. Um, uh, yeah, if uh, people are complaining about a, a slow website, uh, one of the th first things you might want to check is uh, time to first byte. So this shows how fast and responsive your web server is. So time to first bytes you can also find in the DevTools under the timing tab. And it's right uh, over here, so uh, TTFB. And for uh, mobile websites, uh, yeah, you should target a score of uh, 1.3 seconds. So uh, yeah, go and check it out. Uh, also, Lighthouse, I don't know if anybody's familiar with that. Uh, <laughs> it's also available in uh, yeah, Google Chrome uh, DevTools. It's uh, a yeah, good way of keeping up to date with the yeah, latest uh, developments uh, in uh, performance and especially focused on uh, progressive web apps. You can run a, a, a mobile test uh, in uh, Lighthouse, and it gives you uh, yeah, recommendations what needs to be optimized. Uh, the web standard for uh, performance for website testing is uh, web page tests. Uh, you can, uh, yeah, it's a free tool. You can uh, run your site by using web page tests, and it will give you uh, a lot of metrics. Uh, well, you can select, uh, before running the test, uh, you can select uh, to use a real uh, mobile device and select several locations uh, around the world where you want to, the test to be run. After the test is complete, uh, you can set also the number of tests that needs to run. So standard, it's, uh, standard test is uh, uh, it does it three times and then takes the average of uh, those three tests to get yeah, a reliable uh, a metric. <laughs> page, uh, web page test uh, gives uh, also a score which is called uh, the speed index. Uh, the speed index shows an, uh, a metric uh, which tells that how fast your web page uh, is displayed to the user. So, and it's, uh, yeah. Um, so that's right here. So, and you want to keep this number, uh, yeah, for 
uh, mobile below 3000, so that's three seconds. Uh, for desktop, uh, a number of 1000 would, uh, would be okay. Another nice feature is the, the waterfall view in the web page test. So uh, the waterfall view uh, gives a uh, total over overview of all the assets being loaded uh, in onto your site. Uh, there are many guides on the, the internet how to do waterfall optimization, but uh, it's important that you focus on the, uh, the colored bars, the horizontal bars. You want to have them as uh, short as possible. So the longer they are, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons where the bottlenecks uh, are on your website. So it also gives uh, colored lines. So uh, right now I have just a yellow line, but uh, sometimes you also might see a red line, which is not good. So uh, yellow lines are uh, redirects, and uh, red lines are uh, 404, so files that uh, cannot, be, uh, cannot be found. <coughs> the film strip recording is another uh, nice feature of web-based tests. It uh, gives an uh, overview uh, yeah, of the real user experience, so what the user sees when they load your site. So you can compare uh, film strips views uh, when after optimization, and it's really a nice way to motivate other team members when you want to do performance work. So just show them the, the wide loading screens before your website starts. So some key performance metrics uh, you want to tra uh, uh, track. I don't know if everybody can see them. I, I can name them one by one, or you can take a picture of it. So, but uh, the ones I talked about uh, is speed index, uh, total page size, server request count, time to first byte, and load time. What you optimize today, or what you optimize today, can improve all your tomorrows. Yeah, yeah you never can uh, start soon enough with website optimization, and especially, uh, yeah, to get ready for uh, the Google uh, page speed update. So, what 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 will you do before optimizing? Well, first, uh, the first thing I recommend is to get your house in order and do a little bit spring cleaning, because, uh, yeah. Uh, WordPress sites need a lot of maintenance. Uh, you need to make sure your web uh, WordPress version is up to date. Oh, I I hope uh, yeah, people uh, update their WordPress version and that it's not uh, 12 months ago before uh, since the, the last time you updated because yeah, it's important. I mean, uh, for security reasons. Also, on, you want to make sure your plugins, uh, your teams are up to date. Delete, uh, get rid of plugins you don't use, uh, get rid of teams you don't use. Uh, you want to have this optimized as possible. Then after that, uh, you want to minify and combine scripts. So to make in order to make your site uh, as fast as possible. Uh, I use this. Uh, there is an easy plugin which I, I currently use. It's Auto -op Optimize. It uh, optimizes all your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So it's actually yeah, by uh, click uh, one click on a button to uh, to do this, and this way it will make your website uh, a lot smaller and more uh, faster. The average page size of uh, on the internet today, it's actually just growing and growing over the years, but currently the average size is uh, 3 megabytes, uh, and images make up a large part of this. So this is really one of the main things you want to make sure to optimize. And uh, yeah, what, what I also see on many sites is that uh, people choose, uh, upload their images way too big, so sometimes people load, uh, upload an image like of six megabytes. And, but it's also important that you choose the, the right format. Uh, well, uh, Google has a, a, nice, uh, a nice way how to uh, select the best image. So uh, 
well, what I uh, usually do is that for big photos, uh, well, I make sure to use a, a JPEG. And if I have an image with like uh, text in it or numbers, I use PNG. Uh, also, SVG is also a really nice way if you have detailed images, because SVG uh, yeah, is a vector image and it's also uh, nice and scalable. So, especially for mobile, it's uh, yeah really uh, recommended to use. Um, yeah, I. Um, you also have the the what else. Uh, the icons, you, uh, yeah, actually, if you really have to, uh, yeah, it's better than to, uh, well, for example, uh, nowadays that uh, you can use uh, image icons, so they are also really much faster than instead of using just an image. So if you can tell it with an icon, then, uh, yeah, use that. And, uh, an easy plugin to, uh, yeah, optimize your images. Uh, automatically is uh, Imageify, so uh, it automatically updates all your images on your WordPress site. So it just it's running automatically, and yeah, you don't need to take care of uh, running them, uh, opti optimizing them manually. So uh, currently using this, and I I'm really liking it. Another uh, important step is to uh, cache everything you can and compress your web pages. So you want to, uh, yeah, uh, WordPress sites are dynamic content uh, generated from uh, the uh, SQL database. Uh, what caching does, it's creating, uh, turning dynamic uh, content into static HTML files, so which it will improve your uh, load times. And uh, another uh, thing you want to make sure is that uh, Gzip is uh, enabled on your website. Well, either you can use this uh, plugin, uh, WP Supercache, to enable compression, or you can ask your web host to uh, enable it on the server, depending on which hosting company uh, you are using. And that uh, yeah, brings me to hosting, which uh, I think this is really uh, yeah, an important one. That if your uh, uh, the foundation of your website is yeah, most important. If you, you can have a nice optimized site uh, that you think loads very fast, but if your uh, web server is sucks, then uh, yeah, it's not gonna improve your website. So. Hosting is really uh, an important one, and yeah, before when I first started, I, I opted for yeah, the cheapest uh, hosting possible, but uh, I learned my lesson. So uh, currently, I'm on a cloud hosting platform uh, by Google. Um, so after uh, yeah, finding the best hosting company, you also want to make sure that uh, you also want to make uh, consider uh, using a CDN and. Uh, other things you can uh, do is uh, enable HTTP2. Uh, yeah, also, I was in a workshop yesterday uh, from uh, Mike. Other Mike, uh, I don't know if he's here today, but uh, yeah, we really found that HTTP2 is uh, yeah gives a really an advantage uh, for performance. Um, yeah. So, next slide. <coughs> Automation. Um, yeah, we have uh, metrics you can monitor, and monitoring you can automate. So by monitoring uh, the metrics, you can uh, set performance budgets. Anybody here using performance budgets, or anybody know what it is? Well, performance budgets. It it's uh, yeah. It's like you can set alerts, and whenever, uh, yeah, for example, uh, your page size increase or your load time increases, you will get an alert uh, saying, "Hey, your uh, website has uh, increased by 10%." Uh, yeah, you might as well uh, check what's going on. So you automatically, uh, yeah, will uh, be informed about. Uh, things going on with your site, especially if you work in a bigger company where other people are 
updating the website without you knowing it. It's a really handy tool uh, to, uh, to have. Uh, tool I use is called Speedcurve. So, and uh, yeah, I've set uh, several budgets so for the, the page size, uh, speed uh, index, uh, load times, uh, all the metrics that you want to check, you can set a budget. Well, we do a lot of uh, yeah, uh, uh, redesigning, uh, updating our websites. And yeah, one of the things that uh, I do is when after uh, an update, I want to make sure that uh, the website is still performing. So uh, what you can do for this is do A and B tests. So what I uh, do, I set uh, a starting point before optimization. And after I'm done with uh, an update, I run an again a test and then see what uh, has been improved and what has made impact. Uh, and if anything is slowing me down, then I, I'm just getting rid of it. Uh, and does anybody know uh, if their competitor is faster or slower than them? Well, I do. Uh, one thing I do is uh, benchmarking. So what you want to do is uh, you want to compare yourself with other pages, uh, with your com competitors on the internet to see yeah, why is somebody slower or faster uh, than you and I want to know yeah, why are they faster. So I use uh, Speedcurve for this as well. Uh, it runs automatically every day a test uh, that keeps track uh, of all the pages uh, yeah, in my branch so how they are performing, if they are, uh, whenever they are faster, I'm uh, yeah, uh, checking what, did they, what they have done. Uh, did they update their homepage or are they using less images or... So you want to make sure that you yeah, outrank them in order to uh, yeah, uh, stay on top of the search results and also give uh, the best uh, user experience. Google also came out with uh, some kind of benchmark test. It's called the Google Scorecard. Uh, it recently was announced at the uh, Mobile World Congress. Um, yeah, I, uh, you, you, uh, you can use, use this tool by going to this URL. Uh, you can load uh, your domain, domain name and it will give you a score, uh, a speed score. And you can add your competitors uh, next to them and then see who performs best. So I, for this I added some of the biggest names on, uh, on the internet using WordPress. So it's quite impress impressive nowadays uh, what kind of sites are using WordPress. Because, I mean, uh, Trump is using WordPress, uh, Time Magazine, uh, the, next, the next web you probably are familiar with. Uh, TechCrunch is using WordPress. They recently uh, did a complete update, but uh, still using WordPress. It didn't help help them much in their score, though. But <coughs> well, there's more to life than increasing its speed. Uh, would Gandhi have said? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he thought about uh, joining the slow web movement. But if you're still struggling with uh, speed. Uh, you might as well uh, implement AMP. I don't know if anybody is familiar here with AMP. So it's, uh, it stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. It's uh, an open source, uh, open source framework uh, created by Google. And uh, yeah, AMP sh uh, enables you to create uh, mobile webs, uh, fast mobile web pages uh, very easily. So an AMP page loads in uh, under one second. They basically load instantly. Uh, I was, uh, last month I was at the, uh, yeah, invited by Google for the uh, Google uh, Amsterdam event. So every year they have a conference, especially for AMP. And uh, yeah, they uh, showed uh, many exciting new features. Uh, I started with using AMP about uh, one and a half years ago. And uh, yeah, what I built that time is 
was really uh, yeah uh, uh, yeah it was not really an engaging site because AMP is uh, yeah AMP is restricts you to the file size of uh, CSS and uh, yeah uh, you cannot use everything you want because it's basically an AMP page is HTML uh, CSS and JavaScript but it has some restrictions so you can yeah, you're limited to the number of uh, resources that you can use but uh, yeah this time they have uh, announced uh, a lot of new exciting features uh, they uh, you now have uh, amp stories which is comparable to uh, instagram stories it has video uh, animations uh, they're also bringing out amp for email um, even complete uh, web shops are being built now in AMP. And I saw many big companies like uh, BMW, Airbnb, they're even moving their complete mobile websites into AMP. So you might want to check that out if uh, yeah, page speed is uh, important to you. Uh, yeah, to enable AMP, there are uh, a few plugins where which uh, enables you to uh, yeah, easily make your website AMP compatible. You have the AMP for WordPress, which is uh, the original WordPress uh, AMP plugin for by Automatic. Uh, they will soon have a new version, which will be a really a big step forward in uh, the possibilities for uh, with all the new features for AMP. When you have AMP um, uh, installed, you want to also check uh, the Google Search Console. I don't know if anybody is using Google Search Console. If anybody? All right. Well, it's, uh, yeah, Google, uh, in Google Search Console, you can uh, check uh, the AMP pages. And if they have any errors, you can fix them so that to maximize your result. Because uh, yeah, if your AMP page is not valid, then it's not being indexed uh, by Google. So when you have done all these things, uh, yeah, your website will run much faster, and it will frustrate uh, users uh, less, and they will be happier to uh, yeah visit your site, and they will say, hey, this site is fast. I might as well buy. So some key takeaways from uh, my talk today is, uh, yeah, start checking your mobile websites for uh, performance. Uh, make sure to measure and optimize it. And uh, yeah, you can automate performance by using uh, uh, performance budgets. Uh, maybe you wanna go for a full-blown AMP site. I might as well, I will. So, and uh, yeah, when you have your website optimized for performance, uh, it will enable you to uh, reach more people. So, well, thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you have any questions about web performance, I'll be happy to answer them.